Been waiting on the bus all day Have mercy I've been waiting on the bus all day I got my brown paper bag And my tech won't pay behind what's happening in America today. The idea is to destroy public employee unions and with it you destroy the union movement and when you do that you destroy the middle class because the unions are what built the middle class in the first place. If you don't have a middle class then you've only got two classes. You've got the poor and you've got the rich and the rich control everything and the poor has to do their bidding and that's basically what it is. Were you around before the union was here? Yeah. What was it like before the union was here? You were told if you didn't like it you know where the gate is, pretty much. The Labor Policy Institute of Oklahoma, of Oklahoma is an attempt to give working class people, union people and working people, a voice in terms of how we understand the particular predicament that we are in. I'm very much impressed by the analysis by Matt and Ian Saunders, the Main Street Movement, which is completely corroborated by own independent research that has demonstrated that beginning around 1979 and certainly continuing to today, that there has been a drastic increase in the wealth of the wealthy and an increase in the poverty of the working people. We've lost the American dream. I learned about uh, Martin Luther King uh, working with the sanitation workers who were trying to organize under AFSCME, uh, taught me that he was trying to take the civil rights movement in that direction. The right to organize is a civil right, and it is very important, especially for those of us that are in communities that have a lower uh, socioeconomic status, to be able to organize. If the people don't know, it's, um, that doesn't mean that they support what's going on. It means they don't know. So we have to inform them, we have to go educate them, we have to help people to see. I mean, most Americans don't realize that corporations legally count as individuals. They don't realize that. They don't understand that when we talk about collective bargaining rights, we're not talking about the mean old ugly union, we're talking about them. No matter who you are, whether you're in the public sector, private sector, whether you're uh, black, white, uh, Hispanic, Indian, it doesn't matter. It's all about the haves and the have-nots. And all of this comes in behind uh, this, this group, uh, Alex and, and... There are a lot of academic studies that are out there that can demonstrate that this is in fact happening. It's happening. The numbers do not lie. But what I find refreshing with the analysis that's given in this book is that we, as working people, need to do something about it. demonstration, more protest in the manner in which we're doing today, peaceful, to the point, direct to the source. He got that name mixed up. He meant he was the hog. Yeah. Right. They are the ones that are taking the money. They are the ones that are gobbling up at the trough while we, the working family people, are just trying to make a living. From Wisconsin, Scott Walker, to Oklahoma's Mark Costello. People all across America are finding that we have a common enemy. Uh, our rights to vote are, are being taken by these people. Uh, the Chamber of, of Commerce and, and a group of these people as a union, uh, we need to start a push here uh, all across the nation, not just here in Oklahoma, uh, but everywhere, uh, to get back to, to where we used to be. Uh, at Local 1180, we saw this coming. Uh, so 
we started to reach out to the communities and we started to pick up the pieces. It's not only in certain areas, but it's all the communities around us and, and all communities alike. When you look at privatization and you look at it in a deeper sense, you see those that have and those that have not. Generally what's happening is, there, is there, there are these, there's this constant pitting uh, and division among uh, working people, or these divisions between those that have legal status and those don't, or these divisions uh, based, uh, these divisions of immigrants uh, with the assumption that they're taking jobs from Americans. There's this constant division within, among working people based on these legal parameters. And what we're trying to do, what we want to do is to, to strengthen our connections, our commonalities with one another. We want to focus on civil rights. We want to focus on human rights. We want to focus on workers' rights. We want to talk about issues in the workplace. We want to talk about health and safety issues and wages and collective bargaining rights. The working class has never won anything by asking and by disaccepting. We've had to fight. And it is very important now, especially given the climate that we are in and the anti-union, anti-public employee sentiment that we are in by the right wing to understand that we have to stand our ground. Uh, I say to you as, as a, a civil rights committee person, a chair as a union member, a strong activist for the union, that all of us need to come together in unity and fight this with all the power that we have. Nosotros lo que queremos hacer, lo que queremos fortalecer es nuestras, en nuestras conexiones, lo que tenemos en común. Queremos conectarnos, queremos ver que en realidad lo que importa es es hablar sobre los derechos civiles, los derechos humanos los derechos laborales. No queremos enfocarnos tanto en el estatus legal, lo que queremos es enfocarnos mucho más en la dignidad del trabajo, que todos contribuimos. Eso es lo que queremos. There is no person in Oklahoma who is not in some way affected by the working conditions and the labor rights of public sector employees. We all are related to or are the neighbors of teachers and sanitation workers and police officers and firemen and people who work for government entities. We're your employees. We, we work for you, the people of America. We're for all working families. America, the United States, and all of the world. Today's fight isn't just about protecting unions, protecting the public sector, it's about protecting democracy. Uh, if you don't like how things are being done, don't leave it up to other people to vote for you. you got to show up and be part of something for it to matter to you. Um, everybody knows that Martin Luther King had a dream, but when we organize, we make that dream. Yeah.